Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I thought I would do a shop my stash makeup tutorial. I was inspired by this nail polish color. I really thought that the color combination was really unique. And now that I look at it, what I've come up with today is actually nothing like it. But see how there's this blue nail polish by Schlee Polish. And it's like a cool blue with um, orange flakes flakes in it, really nice duochrome mixture that I hadn't seen, like stopped me in my tracks when I saw it on my explore page. And for some reason I got it in my head that it was gray and peach. So I got out some grays that I've had in my collection for a while. And I wanted to do a little shop my stash video. In this tutorial, I'm also gonna take the opportunity to share with you our brand new product from Sereni. You guys are gonna be so excited about this. This is my most innovative product that, well, overnight overhaul I feel was really innovative, but this one, it's, I came up with the same idea around the same time that I did overnight overhaul. Beginning of 2020 during the pandemic, I was doing a lot of under eye treatments and skincare treatments. And as you guys know, I'm a part of Face Halo, which has solved the problem for me of single use makeup wipes. I wanted a solution for my single use under eye patches. Now I tried a bit of everything. I tried cutting up different fabrics. I tried cutting up face halos, but face halos by nature extremely absorbent. I needed something that was the opposite. Nurse Jamie has a fantastic neck one that I love to use for treating my neck and I've used it in videos before. Anyway, this uses a similar kind of material. This is a silicon eye patch. So completely reusable up until the day that they wear out and break. I mean, unless your dog eats one, unless you cut it up or tear it up or anything like that, these should last you a very long time. I do have a product <laughs> that was meant to come in a kit with this. If I can go ahead and say, I guess I can, it's my own company. I can say whatever I want. And I've just decided to launch them on their own. So it's better for you guys because these are affordable. These are $25 for these reusable silicon under eye patches. Super excited by these and how you can use them in a heap of different ways. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I use them to prime my under eye area to work as under eye shields while I'm doing my makeup to catch fallout and uh, touch ups and all of that stuff. So you guys are gonna love them. If you remember, I've been quite obsessed with this concept since like 2015. I was cutting out pads to put under my eyes, like sanitary pads. I used to cut them up and put them under my eyes to catch fallout. I've used a bunch of different under eye shields. Um, I've used so many different eye treatment patches over the years, like the little gel ones. Love them, but don't love that they are single use. And as you guys know, with Face Halo, changed the game for me. I'm a co-owner of that brand. I wanted to do something similar for my own brand, Sereni, and this is, I'm so happy and proud of them. Unfortunately, since I formulated them, they're no longer the first to market, but whatever. I was determined to bring them out in a pack and I can't bring out the serum just yet, so we're selling them singularly. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Anyway, I'm rambling now and I'm literally about to pop, I'm about to have a baby, so I can't talk very much. I didn't film voice through this video. I'm gonna do a voiceover just to make it a bit easier on myself, but I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and enjoy seeing my new product in action. So excited by this, like literally more excited than I was with Overnight Overhaul. So let's get into the look and I hope you enjoy. So here's all my makeup. And here are eye palettes. Now I'm looking for a true gray. I don't know where I would have one. Give me a sec. Well, that did not take long. I found this Charlotte Tilbury quad that has some different shades of gray. It's called the Rock Chick Luxury Palette. So I've got that. And then I really wanted like a subtle, I want a really pretty dusting of like a shimmery, I feel like green, green pink mixture usually i love to go for the natasha denona top coats because i need it to be sheer like i want to see the gray through it but i don't know if i have one in the color that i want i'm so sad this brand has stopped doing their makeup smith and colt just gonna take these and test them out on my hand okay 
So upon closer inspection, I have decided to also test out these products. I was doing a shop my stash, but I actually think that the best thing for this might be the Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Flakes, which are actually pretty new. And I only bought them like two months ago, so I feel bad that it's not exactly shop my stash, but see how the Chrome Flakes are. I've been testing out some of the things on the back of my hand. I tried the liquid powder matte eye tint from Ilia as well, which is actually the perfect gray that I wanted for this. But I might use it as a base and then still use like one of the grays in this palette to just deepen up the socket a little bit and maybe get some dimension because it is this color gray that I wanted. So now I just have to confirm which exact like multi-chrome flakes I want. This is pretty much the only product I can think of that actually gets the precise result that I was wanting. This does look good though. This one, which is that. Anyway, you'll see it under the proper lighting once I try it out. Ooh, that one's pretty too, wow. The whole thing that I liked about that nail polish was just how random the color combination was. That one's good too. Like that with gray, you can sort of see it on my nails. Gray and the green is nice though. Hmm. Now I'm just going to pick out a couple of things for complexion, blush, bronzer, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to try to think about it too much. This one, because it might actually be dry. I might want to throw it out. Do brow gel. Okay, let's go for this one from Milk, the Hydro. Cool. These first for our eyes. Okay, and for lips, I need a nude lip pencil. Haven't used this Patrick Ta one in a while. And I have an inkling to use MAC need a nice nude these clear cases are amazing because you can see the color yeah i think that's what i want honey love here's some blushes i have mostly cream blushes these days but i think i'm gonna go for a traditional powder what are these maybelline Ooh, mac no i just got a mac lip oh my god these were my favorite probably still are my favorite <gasps> that will go well with the eyeshadow flakes and then let's just go for this one here. I know that this has two things in it and I can't really be bothered with my complexion today. I like this brand Loon and Asta. You can get it at, oh, what's that place called? <laughs> Blue Mercury. It's a really great brand. I love it. Um, the colors in this are really nice. It's kind of like, it reminds me of um, the Charlotte Tilbury one. A bit more shimmery. Okay, let's go for these old faves. So I'm of course going to start out with my Sereni Eye Renaissance Under Eye Shields. These are made of 100% cosmetic grade silicon with a shiny underside that cups flush to the skin and a matte textured outside so that it can catch fallout really effectively. So typically you would use a serum before applying them because the silicon helps to prevent product evaporation and enhance absorption. Uh, going in with that Ilia eyeshadow, I really love these and I've had them for a while, although this is a new shade. It's just very natural. It's not like super opaque. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And if you apply too much, it can get patchy. So it's more of a natural girls thing. And then this is the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. I really, I didn't think that they would be wet, but they are. So they came out really nicely. And then going in with this silver or just metallic gray shadow from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. I love this palette because I just love grays on me. I feel like it makes my eyes pop and it also complements my skin tone. And then I'm using the darker grays to make um, like a bit of a wing using the edges of my Sereni eye shields as a bit of a guide to help with the sharp finish there. Question, would you call that eyeshadow there like a light, like a shimmery gray or is shimmery gray just silver? Do you know what I mean? is metallic gray silver, essentially. Anyway, now this is how you wash the eye shields when they're dirty, just take a bit of soap, rinse them underwater. They're non-porous, so they come clean straight away. Then it's just a matter of drying them off. You can air dry them or dry them on a towel or tissue and then put them back in their Sereni Keep Safe Compact for next time. Now with my under eyes primed and ready to go, I'm using concealer, putting that around like the areas that I like to have extra coverage so the area around my nose around my mouth eyes of course and then I wanted to use like a lightweight product so I've been loving this Maybelline 4-in-1 um, it's kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury one but I'm obsessed with it instead of foundation 
and it makes your skin look so nice. And then that milk gel that I wanted to use. Now I don't actually think this is like in one of even in like my top 10 favorite brow gels, but um, it does the job. And then the Lash Doll from Lancome I really do like, but um, I've had this one for a while, so I threw it out after filming this video. Um, it does a nice job, but again, it's better when it's new, so I'll stick to my more not stale makeup products. And the Hourglass Micro Brow Pencil is fantastic. Really love it because there's a bit of redness in my brows from when I used to have brow tattoos, so that helps to neutralize that. And then the Loon and Aster Palette, I feel like it must have been years since I've used that, but I do love how delicate this powder is. And it really looks like nothing on the skin, even though it's got that really finely milled like shimmer to it. It's a really beautiful highlight. And then this blush from Hourglass, had this for years. The Ambient Powders are really nice from Hourglass. And I think I have all their powders. And I just love the way it like blurs and perfects the skin. When it comes to lips, I don't often do like a fully opaque lip look. So I haven't used my... Um, Patrick Tar lip liners in a while, but they are so nice. I really like the shape of the tip and they wear really well And then this is a Mac lipstick, which I don't think I've worn in a super long time And do you know what? I actually think I know why because I'm not a huge fan of the Matte finish of this like I just don't think it makes my lips look pretty. I think that I have better Products now in my beauty arsenal. Do you know what I mean jellybean? Adding a bit more concealer around the eye area because I just want more coverage, same as my mouth. And then blending out under the brow as well. And then I wanted to like touch up a little bit of the dark um, liner that I did with the eyeshadow from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. So I put the shields back on over the top and just intensified that like so. And you can put the shields on over the top of makeup, as I said before, because it's so smooth there, it doesn't disrupt. There's no adhesive, so it doesn't disrupt your makeup underneath. And that's the finished look. I freaking <laughs> hate that there is a bit of, like, mascara on my right eyelid. Ugh! So, this is the finished look. Love the unexpected color combination. I feel like grey is an eyeshadow. I mean, it was kind of difficult for me to find an eyeshadow like that in my collection, even though I have a lot of stuff. There's probably only two or three palettes that I have that have the right gray that I wanted. This is the perfect gray, this Ilia eyeshadow, the liquid powder matte eye tint. Really love it in Dove, so definitely check that out. And then get off some of these Danessa Myrex flakies. They're so pretty. There's so many colors. I wish I got, you know, a few more, but I think I should just be satisfied with what I've got here because <laughs> I have three now. I'm trying not to be an over consumer. Hope you guys loved this video. Don't forget to check out the eye shields on serenibeauty.com and let me know what you think of this look. Also, I have a Facebook group for like-minded beauty enthusiasts like you guys. Please join, it's called Modern Muses and we share pretty much anything in there. Life, makeup, I do giveaways. I ask your advice for things, you ask me advice for things, we ask each other for advice on things. There's not many topics that are off limits in there. So head in there and it's just meant to be like a safe community for beauty lovers. And I'll see you guys there. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.